Good morning, beautiful Sunday friends. It's early yet. It's uh, we're just getting started with Sunday sacred self care, restorative and yin yoga. That's a long name for just taking a load off and connecting with soul and spirit. It's great to have you on board. We're also live streaming this on YouTube. So your images are, of course are anonymous if you're a zoomer. Welcome everybody. We're going to spend the first eight or nine minutes uh, just lying on the back. So it's a challenge for some of us people who are always busy to pick up the oars and float downstream for a few minutes. Perhaps a nice deep breath together. It's a good way to get us on the same page or at least in the same chapter, same book. We're here to cultivate a mood. If you got a lot on your mind, offload it. No rush. Good, we might wiggle our legs and our arms out a little, release any residual tension. Maybe a little scan through your body, feel for any areas of tension or holding or whatever's in there and a simple willingness to observe and release. Observe and release, catch and release. We're like a trout program, catch and release. And if you can simply find your breath, just watch it go in and watch it go out. We're way ahead of the game. Sink into the floor. Good, we got about four or five more minutes on the back. Perhaps our breathing can move more down toward our belly. No particular rush today. We're not trying to get anywhere other than curiously right here, right now, of all places.
Welcome to those just joining in. There was a bit of a jam up in the parking lot. So welcome if you're getting in and rolling out your mat. We're still on the lying on your back being a absolute vegetable phase. It's kind of nice. And we're breathing. If you're not breathing, please start. If you are breathing, just allow it to smooth and deepen. Oh, oh boy, I just yawned. I've been a busy boy and I need some yin restorative yoga with my friends. So thank you for joining in. Anytime two or more are gathered, it enhances our drawing power. Okay, let's spend about a minute just to feel our feels, maybe two minutes. It's like whatever your emotional weather is, climate of the last day or so, what's going on on the surface of your emotional ocean. Breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe. Very healing. Welcome if you're just joining in. Good turnout. Welcome YouTubers. Welcome Zoomers. Welcome all species. Aliens. We got some aliens in today. I invite you to feel the connection between the quality of your breath and the nature of your emotions. Feel how they are two sides of the same coin. You breathe what you feel and you feel what you breathe. That's not ancient yoga gibberish. That's modern scientific conclusion. <clears throat> Acknowledging our emotions, observing them without indulging them is much like a compassionate parent would listen to the adventures of their four-year-old child without necessarily getting caught up in it. Okay, we did that. So now the biggest inhale of your whole life so far, big old inhale, stretch the whole dirigible as big as you can. Good exhale, relax the blimp, let it all out. We are calm and empty souls, empty in the most positive sense. Okay, and then we can wiggle our fingers and toes and in unison, that's a nice unison, we can circulate feel goods through our body. Conjure up some positive 
neurotransmitters, some endogenous morphines, and circulate them through your body. Good, nice deep breath. Exhale, good, and we'll take our arms up to the ceiling, stretch your arms over your head, point your toes forward and writhe around in organic, unicorn, cosmic, intergalactic, orgasmic, astral ecstasy with a smile on your face. I didn't get that. Yep. Good, and then draw your knees in and as you're hugging your knees, gently just roll around on your back because that's how we roll. It's fun to roll around on your back. It reminds me when I used to be a turtle, I'd tip over and I, before I died, at least I would roll around on my back for a while. If I'm going out, I'm gonna have some fun. Good other way with your tur turtle rolls. All right, now you could roll up or sit up as you will, as you would, as you like. We'll do a little Shakespeare today, very little. Welcome, beautiful friends, happy Sunday. It's a beautiful mid-August Sunday, slightly warmer, but just a glorious day to gather with friends. And I note for myself on Sundays, I like to, I go hard during the week. I practice a lot of things, but today I still wanna do some stuff, but like when I play the guitar and the piano and the drums and the bass, I'm going to play really gentle. I'm not going to strain. I'm just going to do some easy chords and some easy patterns on the drums. I'm going to pluck some gentle bass lines. Uh, maybe I'll do a little singing, but very gentle. And I just, I can't go at 110% all the time, not at this phase of my development. So today's a good day to rest, relax. So let's close our eyes and stack our spine up drop our chins down halfway and let's br bring our breathing to the tip of our nose and just reduce our focus from the infinity of things to think about just to the feel of the breath going in and out at the tips of our nose noses is relax your shoulders We don't have to move the river downstream. Now let's think together inside of our heads, the group affirmation that we are calm and peaceful souls. We're all aligning with that beautiful thought that we are calm and peaceful souls. And as we resonate with that thought more and more and more and more of the time, it will take root in our soul and our psyche. Maybe we always haven't been calm and peaceful souls. Okay, let's chant an ohm together. See if you can get everybody in your house to chant, including the dogs and the cats. Big inhale. Oh. Feel that. Let that course through you. Eyes are still closed. No agenda, nothing to push, no one to prove, nothing to prod, nothing to promote, no one to poke, no one to provoke. It's just you and you, your mortal self and your God self. Okay, we'll do some good old friendly joint juice and we'll start with shoulders. Of course, we'll do some beautiful restorative stuff, some longer restorative poses with bolsters and a lot of time, but 
we can greet, we can lube our, we can lube ourselves up, right? We can get our natural joint lubricants going. Six. I love this kind of yoga. Other way. I like to polish my knees too, because shiny kneecaps are a big turn on for me. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Four poofs. Inhale. And exhale to behind your back. We'll go up our back, behind our neck. Now saying poof is optional. Poof. Up your back, behind your neck. Poof. Why do you say poof? How about because it's fun? Do you need a do you need more of a reason? Poof. I like this because it stimulates my back. Poof. Good. Very good. <clears throat> now, how about this is called Anjali Mudra. You could also call them prayer hands, but with our chin dropped, we might close our eyes. And my prayer would be that each and every one of us connects to exactly what they most need in this very day. So if you'd like, you could pray for the thing most wanted or needed for yourself. And group prayer is very po powerful. Sometimes you need some love. Sometimes you need some money. Sometimes you need an answer. Sometimes you need some strength. Sometimes you need some courage. What do you need? Sometimes you need some vision and some inspiration. Sometimes you just need some rest. Good job. Now we'll lace these hands and just stretch our spine out. By the way, if you're in this class, you don't necessarily have to be, you know, an Olympic athlete or a ex gymnast or something. You can just be a human with a body and move it like humans move their bodies. This is the class for every body. Get it now. Turn right, left hand, right knee, right arm behind you. And this is the yoga of not being extreme, which is unusual for me. Close your eyes, feel your feels, twist, squeeze out old patterns, old impressions, old memories, old sensations. Some people are still living their life of 20 or 30 years ago, which is curious, isn't it? Right now is pretty interesting. Inhale here, and we'll release. Okay, now we are creatures of habit, aren't we? And so we'll switch the cross of our legs and that will feel the weird way, won't it? The weird way, won't it? Okay, now we'll also uh, lace our fingers one finger over so it feels like you're holding hands with somebody new and exciting. Your secret is safe with me. Stretch your arms up. And let's wiggle a little bit push kind of release our butt bones and get our spines tall and we'll turn left right hand left knee left arm behind us now somebody watching this for the first time of a perhaps a skeptical person would go that doesn't look that doesn't look all that advanced and to them we would say you're right we're just we're trying to fit into the scheme of things Is there a scheme of things? Is there a design to the universe? That's a good question. Inhale here. And exhale and come on out. We're doing good. We're, you know where we are? We're right here, right now. Baby forward fold, come on down. Now, when I'm all warmed up and frisky and coffeeed up, 
I can easily fold all the way down and smash my head, blah, blah, blah. But on Sundays, I ask myself, can I back off a little bit? Do I have to go at 11 all the time? Can I relax my shoulders, swallow once, close your eyes, maybe even move your head around a little bit and relax your hair? There's this interesting thing happening right now. It's called the present moment and our minds frequently are anywhere but. So relax here. I've always liked coming up on my fingertips, lengthening my spine, slightly looking forward. And then we'll exhale for maybe three more breaths, just exploring the edge of our range of motion. Don't need to exaggerate today. I'm an inveterate exaggerator. I've started going to Exaggerators Anonymous meetings. I'm going to go to a thousand meetings in 90 days. Okay, that's about as hard as it's going to get today. So come on up. Now I'm going to switch back to original cross. Now I'm a big proponent of pose and counter pose. So that was a forward fold. So we'll lean back on our hands and in a mild way, we'll just lift up our hips. There's something about lifting your hips and arching your back that seems to associate with um, ecstasy or euphoria. Arching our spine has that nature to it. And you can lift up as high or stay as low as you want because you're doing your practice and I'm doing mine while we're doing it together. Best of all worlds. Come on down. Good job. Now, what to do about this head thing? I think that's a good question. I think we'll lace our hands again and we'll draw our thumbs down the side of our necks. Those are called your sternocleidomastodons, the thick side neck muscles, those big cords. I just like brushing them. Yin yoga, restorative yoga teaches us subtleties, which the world has sort of lost the art of subtlety sometimes. Everything is extreme, pounded on the head with sensation and images and noise. What happened to subtlety? Good. Now take your opposable thumbs that are really cool. Put them underneath the corner of your jaw. Relax the face down into your soft palms. Massage interestingly with your thumbs underneath your jawbone. There's a little button in there that pops your head off. If you start feeling really good for no reason, yay. Good. All right. You know, that's good for opening up our throat chakra. If you believe in chakras, <clears throat> the throat chakra is called Vishuddha and it has to do with the power of the word or the voice, the ability to speak your word in the world with truth and power and influence things positively or negatively, but let's use it for its best. So to, to practice our throat chakra, we will chant an Om. And by the way, when I chant Om, I've been practicing extending my exhalation uh, longer because it's a powerful form of physiological strengthening and healing. Do what you can do. Inhale. Peace be still. This is yoga right here. 
Okay, we'll drop our chin. We'll take our coconuts around eight times. One. You know, I did the same thing with my head yesterday, and I'm, there are just certain things I'm going to do every day to maintain my well-being, my balance, my strength, my function, my discipline. Six. Seven, eight, other way. For as long as I'm in this, this incarnation, I want to be fun, frisky, flippant, frivolous, frisky. Six. Seven. And then believe it or not, we just relax our head all the way down, but without force. Eyes are closed and we make ujjayi breathing. That's that soft little whispery sound of our throat, of our breath that we make by constricting the back of our throat at our glottis. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. If you do know what it is, don't worry. Either way, don't worry. In other words, as the great yogi Mayor Baba said, don't worry, be happy. Okay. Then our hands, wrists, and forearms. So we'll turn our hands, so little fingers in, thumbs out. And everybody's going to be different. Some people can lean all the way down to the heels of their hands. Some of us have lobster claws. Drop your chin, close your eyes. I'm gonna feel something different in my body than you're gonna feel in yours, but we're all feeling something. We're, the nerve, we're God's nerve endings. I like thinking of myself as being a nerve ending of the infinite, so to speak. And if I tune and cooperate and heal and I can become more aligned with the larger part of me. Not always. I prone to silliness, ignorance and mistakes, but I try to learn from them a little bit. Oh, I've made my mistakes. Well, how else can you learn, you guys? Good, now we're going to pedal our heels side to side a little bit. A lot of tension builds up in our forearms, and it, oftentimes it's hidden to us, and so it just builds up, and we get cooked like a frog in slowly boiling water. That's not good. Okay, now arms out, and now we can have some fun. <clears throat> You know why this is an important exercise for me is because I've been taking piano lessons from two different teachers a lot over the last year. And when I sit in front of the piano, sometimes I slide my butt left and right to get to different parts of the piano. And they both slap me for doing that. And they go, don't you dare move your butt, move your fulcrum, move side to side. And so <sighs> the key to le learning any musical instrument is start when you're three years old. Okay, then internal rotation, arms behind your back, and then put the back of your wrists in your armpits. Drop your chin and touch your elbows together as close as you can. I can't come close. But we don't need to compare ourselves, except to ourselves, not to other people. I really feel this one. I hope you're feeling it too. Okay, and then we'll relieve all of that with some roly-poly guacamoles. Mmm, guacamole. I love me some guacamole. Got a couple of ripe avos in the kitchen. They are going in my face hole later today. Other way. 
Isn't this a cool movement? Shake out residual stress, painful patterns of perception, loosen up our paws. Then, hi, how you doing? How you doing? You can go slow, medium, or fast because we all run at different pace. Some of us are 33s, some are 45s, some are 78. Boy, talk about dating yourself. <laughs> I might as well date myself. I'm sleeping with myself. Faster, faster. Good. Now cup your hands at your heart, drop your chin, be unusually happy for no reason. The happiness that's not contingent upon the arrangement of the deck chairs on the Titanic. I rewatched the movie Titanic last night. I liked how Jack and Rose, they had as much fun as they possibly could, even though it was only going to last a couple of days. Good. All right. Now, here's a good one for our hip hippies. All right. So we'll just go like this. See this? And then everybody's going to be different. Your windshield wipers, if you're really, say you're like two or three years old, your legs are going to go all over the place without any problem. But if you're, say, older than 40 like I am, don't ask how much, but just side to side. Easy. Even my unbelievably strict yoga teacher who could do everything, every now and then, we would just do a practice like this. Just greasing it up. But now next time you go to your right, let your legs down. This is fine right here. If you want to put your right ankle on top, that's fine. And I'm just going to lean back on my hands. I'm going to close my eyes. Now, if you're a very bendy person, you could conceiv conceivably go back to your elbows or even lay on your back. But I'm going to leave that up to you because I want you to find a yoga of your own understanding. For me, this is fine. There was a time in my life where I could do something so much more extreme than this, but that was that time. This is now. And just wait for it. Good. Now from here, we're going to bring this up. And I've got my right ankle outside my left knee. Do you see that? Now, there's a triangle. I can look through my legs and I can see my left heel. And I'm just going to slide forward. And if you can completely touch your butt crack to your heel, that's fine. Just slide in as far as you can. And then with your thumbs turning out and your little fingers in, let your chest and your chin drop backwards. In other words, you'll feel a lot of wrist and chest and shoulder stretch. Shoulders pull back a little bit, chest caves, chin drops. Good. Now from here, keeping your left foot flat on the floor, just lift your booty as high as you can. Maybe you're a high booty lifter. Maybe you're a low booty drifter. Just lift up to where you can. Good. Then we'll sink buns down. And now the knees will go to the left. Isn't that clever? I love this sequence. Then we'll sit up and for an easy twist, maybe we'll just take our left elbow around our right knee. I'm going to tuck my belly in a little. Now watch my spine. See the cat tree behind me. My head floats up. I turn to the right. I close my eyes and I can do way stronger twists than this, but not on Sunday. Sunday is my healing, my rest and relaxation. I'm looking to stimulate my parasympathetic nervous system. Rest and relax, feed and breed nervous system. Sometimes you got to feed and breed, kids. 
at least feed. This is good for our flankage here, isn't it? This side of our behind, it's very tight here. Good, now from here, watch this. This right knee is just gonna drop down, okay? I did shift my body slightly to the right, and now we end up in Yogasana. For some people, this is a very challenging pose. Their knee will stay up here and they'll feel like they need to lean back. After a while, your, your uh, hips open up a little bit. Good, all right? Now, arms out, palms up, and we're gonna pull our palms in and do some beautiful shoulder work. Arms come back, they come around to the front, and they just pull in, and I find this to be soothing, calming, rhythmic, soothing, calming, comic, rhythmic, something like that. Around front, one more. What's not to like? Good, now our paws pause at our side like this. My hands feel open and receptive as if I'm ready to receive the great blessings the universe is ready to pour out. Now push out, go wide, internal rotation, go back here, push forward. Today we're not looking to force anything, we're looking to align with energy. That's a thought, isn't it? Good, now I'm gonna grab my elbows, gonna bring my elbows up. I'm gonna work my elbows side to side. Good, now we'll do some reflexology, some pressure point. I'm gonna take my thumbs into the middle center bottom of my feet, and I'm gonna massage into the heart lung center at the middle center bottom of my foots. That takes patience for me because, you know, I could be doing 11 different other things right now, but I'm going to stop and actually experience the miracle of my own life. Good, we'll chant OM together, holding a gentle, steady pressure into the middle center bottom of our feet. Big inhale. Oh. Beautiful. Good job, you guys. Now from here, we shall take our leggies out, stretch them out all the way. They've been bent for a while, right? So just firm your legs and stretch up. The yoga pose formerly known as the sage Dandasana. Stretch your toes open, sit up tall, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, firm your tongue, soften your bum, extend your legs, be unusually happy for no reason or any reason. Be unreasonably happy. Good yoga fists. Put yoga fists on the floor. Champagne bottoms and caviar rears. Get your happy on. Good, we'll sink down. Now, you remember how we started that sequence? How's your memory? We were doing windshield wipers, weren't we? which reminds me I'm getting, gonna get, have my car clean today. It's filthy. Now, next time your knees go to the left, just let them down. This is fine right here. If you can grab this foot and kind of put it on top just to weight this down, then lean back on your hands if you can, lean back on your elbows if you can, lean all the way on your back with your arms up over your head in pin-up pose if you want, but I'm gonna leave that up to you. Whatever you're doing, close your eyes and feel it. Let it sink in, S-Y-N-C-I-N. -I 
I just got a message from my beloved sister. She's watching on the YouTube. How about that? Give time. If we are, if we give time, time, then time actually goes away. There's no such thing in reality as time. It's a construct of human consciousness. Good. Now from here, here's what we do. You ready? You take these knees and you bring them up to here. Your left ankle's outside your right knee. Now I'm going to get my right heel where I can see it. Then I'm going to dock my butt into my heel. I'll just come in as far as I can. Now what I'm doing here is quite interesting, I think. I'm turning my little fingers to the inside like this, and I'm dropping my chin and bending my elbows, and I'm sinking into my shoulder girdle. Even though I'm not wearing a shoulder girdle, I'm sinking into my shoulder girdle. So you do that for a moment. I got to plug my computer in. It's running out of battery. So hold, please, while you're doing that. Here we go. I bet you really feel this stretch, don't you? I bet you really need it. Good. Now we're going to counter pose. Stick your right foot on the floor with sticky paper and just lift thy buns as high as you can. If you lean a little forward into this, keeping your right heel down, you'll feel a groovy stretch of your right calf and Achilles tendon. You can poke your chest up too. I like this pose. Good, come on down. When we're done with this sequence, then we'll do some luscious, sumptuous, delicious, restorative. Knees fall this way. Now we're in a pose called Arda Matse Andrasana, half Lord of the Fishies. Now, a mild version of this, which I recommend today, is just your right elbow in front. As I hug my left knee in, I stretch my IT band, I stretch my bum, then my spine gets longer, my chin is level, and I turn my torsi to the left. Close your eyes and practice being unreasonably happy. By that, I simply mean the kind of joy that's not contingent upon the exact arrangement of particulars. I've really been trying to practice that kind of happiness in my life for a few years. And the hardest place for me to do it is on a golf course. And that's what I'm working on in the hardest place to do it, no matter what happens. And I'm a damn good golfer. But if something goes wrong, instead of being miserable and hating myself, it's like, that's okay. My state of mind is more important than anything and everything else in the universe. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and everything else is added. Inhale here. And as we exhale, we'll let go of the knee. I'm going to slightly reorient myself to the left. My left knee will fall. Good external rotation, opening of my buns, relaxing of my feet, etc. Big hug. Let's jump into each other's arms. What do you say? Good. Now bring your right arm under. And speaking of hugging, don't wait for somebody else to hug you. Hug yourself. I'm going to kind of make out with myself a little bit. I'm not much, but I'm all I think about. Now, if your arms fold up into what are called Garudasana arms, do that. And then ups and downs and lefts and rights. And this will clear up the tension that creates migraine headaches for me. But now take your elbows as far to the left as you can. 
and your chest too. Take your face as far to the right as you can. Tilt your head to the right. Drop your chin, close your eyes. Just be. Good, now let your hands cleverly slide to your elbows. Brings your elbows up and side to side with your elbows. We're coming to elbows together. These move, movements may seem simple, even remedial to some, but I'll tell you, the people that don't do this are quite bound. All right, now we'll bring our elbows down like this. Now we're going to take our thumbs into the base of our big toe metatarsal, the big knuckle of your foot, and then massage in there. This is for vision, inspiration, guidance, ideas larger than what we can think of. I am so grateful that I'm not limited to my what my brain will think of, that if I get receptive, great ideas will drop into my head. Okay, hold steady pressure. We'll chant an ohm together to get to receive that information. Oh, prayer hands, drop chin, close eyes, just listen. We are calm and peaceful souls. Everything is always working out for me. I live, I move, I breathe. I have my being in the love, the energy, the light of the universe. You don't have to agree with any of my ideas, but if you like them, you can vibrate along with. If you love my ideas, they're probably not mine. Good. Now, as promised, I should deliver with some yummy restorative yin yoga. Wouldn't you agree? I think you would. So I'm going to untie my legs. Now, as the former as the owner of a former yoga studio, or as the former owner of a yoga studio, or as whatever I'm trying to say, I'm gonna put one of my bolsters out in front. This is my favorite restorative twist. I also kind of like to mas massage my, mold my um, bolster a little bit. Good. Now in this beautiful restorative twist, you probably have done it with me before, but sometimes you like to do stuff again, don't you? So let's turn our knees to the left. Let's bring the side of our right hip into the bolster. Let's put our right hand on the bolster for stability. This is one of our flying buttresses. Have you ever been to Europe? Me neither. If you're going and you'd like to take me, just let me know. Now I'm gonna cross my ankles underneath behind me. So as I look behind me, there are my feet and my knees back there now. Then I bring my chest to the front. I put both hands on the bolster. I push back to stretch my side muscles here. Then I put my right hand over here. My whole upper body is turning to the right, but I like this bolster because it's gonna support me in a moment. I'm gonna take my bolster over to one o'clock. I'm gonna aim my chest down the bolster and if this was a different day, I'd come to my left ear to be extreme Greg. But today I'm going to try to be relaxed Greg. I'm going to come to my right ear and just let my arms go. I like cactus arms. Let's do this for about 2.5 minutes on each side.
Let your breathing slow down. Let your mind clear. Let your heart relax. We're halfway in, no rush, take your time. Cool your jets. Good, now staying in the pose, biggest inhale you can in this somewhat restricted position, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Now, as we come out of this pose, all we're gonna do is just push into our hands and lift our chest for a moment. Now, this is a yoga pose right here. This is a yin yoga pose. If I was a 12 year old Romanian gymnast, I could lean without moving my lower body, I could lean way back. For me, just to lift my hands and stretch my chest is a bit of a stretch. I could walk my hands in a little further. I could put my hands here and then I can just let my elbows bend a little bit and I can stretch, I can stretch my heart forward. While I'm doing that, I can look to the right and see if I can see my feet behind me to the right. And just close your eyes and let this pose sink in through the various levels of your being as if we are nested Ukrainian dolls. That would be a nice name for a band, wouldn't it? The Nested Ukrainian Dolls. I know a couple. Now I'm gonna lean back a little further. I'm gonna look further behind me. I'm just gonna squeeze and wring out a couple more ancient painful patterns of perception that got lodged in my system. We're all heading toward moksha, the yoga word for liberation, one day at a time. Okay, kitty mittens. Now, just get yourself out of that one. Ooh, that was good. I felt that down to my nether, down, well, down south a bit. 
Now I'm going to rearrange my bolster forward. I'm going to sit in front of my big old pillow. I'm going I'm to massage it. Uh, okay, now my knees are going to, your knees too, they're going to swivel over to the right. My left greater trochanter side of my hip is up against the bolster. Left hand is on the bolster. Now the cool part is as I shift my knees and my ankles around behind me, I call it sitting mermaid style. I cross my ankles and we put both hands on the bolster. I lean back to stretch my transverse abdominus muscles. Then I put my left hand over here to begin to begin the twist. Now yogi's option, I, I usually go to about 11 o'clock here. And from belly button jewelry up, I turn my chest down. And then I think we should go to our left ear. Do what you will with your arms. Where should your arms go? Two and a half minutes of drooling intergalactic cosmic bliss. This is really good for our guts and digestion and intestines to squeeze them, twist them, wring them. Fall asleep if you want. I've been putting people to sleep for years. Big inhale, exhale, release. Now, same thing as the first side. You just bring your chest up a little. Now, this could be as easy as just, hey, I'm just going to lean back a little, but my from the waistline down, I'm staying where I'm staying. Maybe I lean back a little further. People really demonstrate a great vari variance here. And as my chest lengthens and my heart stretches and I turn to the left, I'm going to look behind me to my feet. And then I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to let God turn, tune my instrument. I can't tune my own body, so I let God do it, so to speak. Infinite wisdom, creative mind perfect love
oh, this one is so good for you. Trust me. Even though you have men, may have no reason to trust me, trust me. Good, now come out of this. And it might take a few moments if you're, say, older than four to get out of that pose, but that's okay. Now, I bet it's about noon. Yes, it is. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to do an extra groovy restorative pose for about, well, maybe six, seven, eight minutes. So for this one, and you can be very creative in how you set this up, but basically you just want some pillows or bolster angled like that. You with me on that? If you build it, they will come. I'm going to put a little bolster up here before where my head's going to go. Now, I've got a host of things to use, but essentially what I'm looking to do is to slide in like this. This is called Supta Baddha Konasana. My feet ears are going together. Now, I'm, I'm pretty open in my hips this way, but since this is restorative, I want to support myself. And I'm going to roll up a tube underneath my right knee. And I've got a blanket or a bolster or a pillow over here. It doesn't matter. And then, oh, God. Oh, God. It feels so good. Now, my spine is supported. My groinage is open. But my knees are relaxing. I got something underneath my neck. My arms are hanging. And I shan't bother you for probably six, seven minutes. I give you complete permission to relax more than you ever have in your whole life. And I bid you adieu, bon voyage, arrivederci, avina saying, adios, amigos. If your hips or legs tire in this pose, after a few minutes, if you want, just extend your legs out. That's okay. It's your body.
Okay, friends, stay in the pose. This is just the initial call from the universe. Take your time. Enjoy the afterglow. And here's that Sunday ritual we do on Sundays of all times, and that is if you'd like to invite God, love, source, spirit, Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, infinite, higher, organizing, whatever, into your heart, mind, soul, and nervous system, now's a good time to do it when there's a nice blending of soul and spirit. Never from coercion or convincing, only from choice, always from choice. Good, if you prayed that little prayer with me, you might wiggle your fingers and toes now and circulate a fresh new dose batch of extra super feel God through yourself. We are God's nerve endings, you know. Good, nice deep breath back in your meat suit. And when you're ready, please to curl onto your right side fetal position. Take your time, no rush. Love all over yourself. Good kids, and then keeping our eyes closed to keep the vibrational countenance inward, we'll sit up together. And then find Axis Mundi, the center of the universe, and put your butt right on top of it. Stack your spine up on top of it. And let's remember we're all rays from the very same sun. You can bring the hands into the heart, drop the chin, close the eyes. And I invite you to feel holy, sacred, and reverent toward that which you feel holy, sacred, and reverent toward. And I feel that if I go deep into me and you go deep into you, we come to the same place together. And from that place, all together we say, Namaste. I think it's a very powerful thing for humans to gather in a tribe and share love and peace and calm and presence. So first, I always say goodbye to the YouTube friends first. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit like.